Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. Today we're going to talk about the muscles that are involved in your rowing movements. So, uh, main prime movers are going to be your lat muscles. So the lat connects to all the way down to your uh, butt here. <laughs> Trying to use anatomical terms, but probably suffices. And then it comes all the way up here into your shoulder. It does a couple different functions. It turns your shoulder in like this as you row. It keeps your elbow pinned to the side. Um, it takes your elbow backward. That is the major uh, motion that is loaded here during our rows. But it also pulls your butt up and scrunches your back together. So. We got to look out for that muscle. We don't want to feel that muscle too much. We don't want to feel that muscle exclusively because it pulls our shoulder blade or our shoulder joint forward like this and it can cause some irritation in the front of the shoulder and even sometimes in the top of the shoulder when the uh, joint isn't moving the way that, you know, it's kind of designed to. And then the other thing we got to look out for is over compressing the back. We don't want to turn that lat on so much that we squeeze our spine together because that's generally associated with some low back tightness. Um, lastly, the third thing, if you think about it, it's not it's not like um, directly acting on this joint, but since everything is together and everything is connected, it still does this. So if I get one lat to turn on and not the other lat, and I'm not stabilizing with my abdominal muscles, then I might notice something like this. Okay, so my right shoulder drops, my right hip comes up when my right lat turns on without opposition, right? Opposition just means I have other muscles that are stabilizing my body, okay? So the lat, that's the number one. That's what you're gonna, you're gonna see, especially if you keep your elbows in a little bit closer, you're gonna feel that lat a lot more. Then the other one that I think is harder to get, but I am, you know, it, because of that, I'm emphasizing it a lot more when people are doing rows, is the shoulder blade muscles, the muscles that connect your shoulder blade to your spine, to like the rest of your body. Um, primarily here, we've got the rhomboids, which are kind of my deepest set of these muscles. There are major rhomboids and minor rhomboids. You probably don't need to know that. They are just upper back muscles. They uh, rotate my shoulder down, um, or my shoulder blade down, if we're being specific, and they uh, squeeze my shoulder blades closer together like that. And then the other biggest one is the trapezius, which is this big diamond shaped muscle that goes all the way up to my neck and then all the way down to the very bottom of my rib cage area. And they all swing up, they all connect, all this whole entire muscle that takes this whole entire shape connects to my shoulder blade and helps me pull those shoulder blades back. It helps me tilt them away to give my shoulder joint a little bit more room. You wanna look at this muscle if you're having some shoulder problems while doing your row. Um, this is you know, just a major outline of the anatomy that's involved. If you're trying to build that upper back, you're trying to be a little bit more broad, um, you wanna look into these rowing motions because they're not, they're not only gonna give you that appearance, but they also just support everything else. <laughs> my, my buddy was <laughs> joking the other day, but not joking. Uh, you see dudes with big chest and you see dudes sometimes with big legs, that aren't really that strong, but you never see people with a big back that isn't strong. So keep that in mind when you're doing your rows.